In this video, we're gonna look at how we can use auto shift to make our voice sound like this. Auto tune. So let's jump straight in and see all the features and how we can use it on an actual vocal. So I have a vocal here in Ableton Live. I'm using my free vocal chain, put a link in the description if you wanna use it. So if we go to audio effects, go to auto shift. Now we have an input here, so this will detect what pitch is roughly going into the auto shift effect. Then depending on what octave you're in, you need to select if it's a high, mid, bass. It's generally gonna help the tuning correction and make it as accurate as possible. We've got gain, so this is how much gain we can send into it. And we can see an overall latency. Now this is not a problem if we're working like this, where we've got a pre-recorded vocal and we're just applying it afterwards. Quite a lot of people like to use auto tune effects live. 32 milliseconds delay is not gonna cut it live. It's gonna be really hard to sing and you're gonna be slightly behind the beat. So what we've got up here in live is we've got this button here, which is live mode which will automatically get rid of all your latency. Problem with it is you might hear some audio glitches if you're trying to do a lot of notes quickly. So if you're trying to go and go through lots of notes, it might glitch out a little bit. But if you're just singing normally, you're gonna be fine. So let's go into the main quantizer area. This is where we look at squishing all the notes in tune. So we have a pitch correction meter. So this shows us how much we're deviating around zero cents, which is bang on in tune. Then we've got strength, smoothness, and a keyboard here. Strength is essentially how much tuning are you applying to the incoming audio. And smooth is how quickly are you transitioning between the tuned notes. Now, if you turn smooth on and you increase the value, what that's gonna do is it's gonna smoothen out the change between the notes, so it's gonna sound a lot more transparent. So essentially smoothness is like a transparent dial and strength is the amount of the effect. Then down here, we can use this keyboard here to take notes out. So for example, here we're in chromatic mode. So this is all the notes are available. But if I was to take out say F here, if my note went into F and it was slightly flat, the quantizer would squeeze it down to E. If it was slightly sharp, it would squeeze it up to F sharp, it just wouldn't let me play an F, okay? Now we can choose custom scales down here so we can go through and choose our note and we've got a list of all the scales or we can turn on our scale awareness feature which is fantastic because now the notes have gone purple, they're in key, brilliant. Okay, so let's, let's have a little play with this vocal and see what it sounds like with the strength at 100%, a smoothness at 200%. Yeah, oh. Let's try it off. Yeah. Oh. Not much difference. See how transparent it is? Now, if I turn the smoothness off, bring it all the way down, have a listen to it. Yeah. There we go. Oh. There we go. We are hearing the auto tune. Now, we have this dial down here shift which is amazing, but I'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna do pitch, so we can transpose the pitch in semitones, so I can transpose it essentially, and I got a fine tune if, it's, if it dials it in slightly sharp or slightly flat. Then I have a formant shift, so this shifts the formants of the incoming signal. Imagine formants being like the original tone of the vocal. So at zero, it's going to move the formants around for you. So if I put that right down, it's going to try and make it sound like the vocalist is singing that low. So like the tone of her voice, essentially. Yeah. Oh. So it's shifting the formants around. It's, it's making it sound like the vocalist is trying to sing that low. Whereas if I put the formants all the way down. <laughs> it sounds like she's had too many cigarettes, I don't know. If I shift it all the way up, it's gonna start sound a bit chipmunky. So if I put it all the way up, So this is cool if, if you want to get some vocal textures, like if you want to do vocal chops and you're shifting up, put the formants up 100% and that's gonna get that chipmunk sort of high pitch. If you're looking at doing some layering, some like lower sort of thickening out of the vocal, using the formant shift and pitching the vocal down, say down 12 semitones, down 100. 
is great so if we just double that up and on the first one i'm just going to put it back to normal once back to normal let's hear that yeah. oh. super cool effect let's let's use quite a lot in choruses and that's like a little I don't know, texture or vocal effect. Now we have this formant follow as well. Turn it down, it automatically shifts the formant down. If I turn it up, it automatically shifts the formant up. So if I put that up 100%, put that back to zero and move that up. Yeah. One of the things, if you're heavily auto-tuning a voice, it can sound quite static and it's going to essentially compress all those pitch deviations. And doing that can make your voice sound quite robotic. So you can add in a little vibrato on the end here. She's already got quite a good vibrato, but <laughs> let's bring it in anyway. We need to bring in the amount and we do like a little fade in. So basically that doesn't do it straight away. It waits 70 milliseconds, then starts doing this vibrato here. I don't what you say. Do more of a mouth. What you say, <laughs> it won't take me away. You know that you got me. And you can see this little light indicator there will flicker when the vibrato is engaged. We also have a wet dry dial as well, so you don't have to have it completely auto-tuned. Let me show you this amazing shift thing here. Now, because we have this amazing scale awareness dial here, we can shift this in scale degrees. So what this means is we can harmonize, not just transpose the voice, like raise everything up, say like um, two semitones and it be out of key. This will keep everything in key so we can create artificial harmonies. Amazing. If I get this, this vocal here and I duplicate it and this second one here, I'm just gonna raise up two scale degrees and that is gonna go to some something called the third, which is the first nicest note to harmonize. It gives a, a, a pleasant sound. Have a listen to this. I know what you say. So cool, right? What if we did another one? So we duplicate it again. This time we're gonna do four scale degrees, which adds in a fifth as well. I know what you say. It won't take me away. And then if you want to go absolutely crazy, you could duplicate each one of those voicings. Pan one slightly left, pan one slightly right. Let's hear that in the track. First without. If you'd like to find out about more of the amazing new things you can do in Ableton Live 12.1 and above, I have a playlist here. Also, if you'd like to study Ableton Live with me, I have a course and the link is in the description below.